Hi everybody. Today I'm going to go and harrow one of my hay fields. I had put some manure on it and it had a lot of hay and clumps in it so it's clumpy and I want to spread that out before it's grass starts growing and then it's going to be too late. So I'm going to head out and do that this morning and uh, um, later in the video I'm going to cut some clips of my last few days of hauling logs out of my log job to back home that I want to show you and uh, I've been so busy with the colts and trying to show some of the lessons I've been doing with them that I haven't shown much of the other stuff that I've been doing here on the farm and in the woods um, although the woods work is done for now because we're right in mud season it's it's March 25th or something like that and it's uh, it's not that warm yet but it's supposed to be 70 degrees today which is pretty amazing for this time of year so I'm trying to take advantage of this warm weather and doing what field work that I can do. I actually did some disking the other day, a couple of different times, uh, just a tiny little bit more, as much just to keep the horses in shape as to get the disking done, although I kind of killed two birds with one stone by doing that. So anyways, we'll go get hitched on the cart and then we'll go drag that field. <laughs> So these are Pioneer Springtooth Harrows that I'm going to use today. I had used them last on my driveway. I just drive around the driveway and, and uh, level that up a little bit. But the teeth were too low for that. And I just want the teeth just to be barely touching the ground. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just adjusting them. With the fingers on the back side of these harrows, I'm hoping that it will do what I want to do mostly with those fingers. but the the spring tooth will be picking up any grass clumps also and hopefully spreading them out. I had made the mistake of spreading some manure on here that was from my calf pen and there was a lot of hay in there that uh, was probably from the wrapped round bales and it just did not, is not dragging and breaking up very good. I was hoping it would do a lot better than this but in some ways I think I'm making more of a mess than I had before but I'm sure it will help some. Probably while I was, when I was spreading it, if I had adjusted the apron so it would go slower, the beaters would have chewed this hay up a lot better and spread it out better. But it was right in the dead of winter and more than likely it was cold and I was in a hurry and I usually just spread my manure with the apron wide open. That's probably what I did here and so it ended up throwing out quite a lot of clumps. So I might regret it when I start haying, but a lot of times when it's time for hay and the rain and such is still several months it'll it'll get rid of this or flatten a lot of this down nicely so it shouldn't be a problem hopefully a lot of people use a chain harrow for something like this 
which I don't believe, I don't have one, but I don't believe it would have done even as good as this has. I'm thinking it would just roll over those clumps. But uh, I've actually never used a chain harrow, so I can't say for sure. I suppose, since it's not looking too good, I could ask Brenda to go out with a pitchfork and shake these clumps up really good and spread them out, but I don't think that would go over very well. She's a wonderful wife, but she's not going to do that for me, I'm afraid. Happy. Well, I got that job done, so now I might as well go out and get my scoot. It's out in the with the cows. I had taken some hay, loose hay out there, and I'll out, go out and get that and bring that back in and load that up. These two horses are probably the best backing horses I've ever had. And we were backing this scoot up and boy it backed hard. They were leaning right into it and I couldn't figure out what was going on and then I remembered the steel runners, the shoes, um, the one side on the, our left looking at it here, the end that bends up was broke off. And so I was plowing a furrow back through there as I was backing up but they pushed it back there just the same.
So what I'm doing is just cleaning out the loose hay that's in the barn and some of the hay that have broken bales, just one string. So I'm throwing them down. It doesn't take that much to feed the cows for a day or a half a day, whatever it happens to be. Um, so I'm just cleaning up the loose stuff here and taking the strings off any of the bales that I actually threw down. That's what I'm doing here. I'm cutting the twine and pulling it out of there. So here we are probably two weeks earlier with the Pertrons coming up with their last load of firewood from the log winter log job. And this is the Belgians coming up the road with their last load of logs from the winter log job. This was the only pine tree I had on that whole log job this winter. It was all hardwood. So I have quite a lot of sawing I have to do during mud season. But so far mud season has been pretty mild and has dried out quite nice. But I'm sure we'll get some wet weather.
Here's a, another couple nice basswood logs that I have. And then I'll put them on this pile. I've, in this pile I've got mostly all basswood, but there's a few cherry logs in there and a few ash logs in there still. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.